Good morning. Hi there. That's for ladies. Oh, that's a lady. You don't have no tools for sale. Oh, Okay, this garage sale was a bust. I didn't really find anything at this sale, but we do have one more to go to. So let's go check that one out. Good morning. Here is a neat Tommy Hilfiger backpack. However, it was in pretty bad condition. It actually had a bunch of holes in it at the bottom. So that is why I passed on that. Okay, so this is a neat looking vintage vanity here. And she only wanted $2 for it, so I thought, how could I pass this up? This is definitely a cool piece. I think that somebody's going to want this either as it is or uh, to refinish and keep for themselves or sell it. And the reason I did turn the volume down all the way was because 
uh, they were playing some music inside the garage. So, but that's the only thing I ended up buying at the sale was just the uh, vanity seat. So sometimes, especially on Thursdays, it's really just hit or miss with the garage sales. Uh, there us there's usually not too many of them. So I don't have a whole lot of choices, but I do try and get to the ones that are available. And it's always a good tip to go ahead. I was just gonna say, it's always a good idea to go ahead and check the garage sale apps one more time before you go out in the mornings because a lot of times on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, people don't add the sales into the last minute. So even though you might do your research ahead of time, it's always a good idea to go ahead and double check that again in the morning before you head out. Okay, at that sale for $2, I picked up this uh, vintage vanity and I thought I might flip it on a local Facebook group. Somebody might wanna refinish that and maybe sell it in their booth or something. But it's not going to be me because I don't know how to upholster. Okay, for fun, I just wanted to uh, show you guys a couple things that I'm going to be listing today. Most of these items I've picked up at thrift stores. Some of them have been garage sales. You guys might remember me opening up this uh, in one of the grab bags the other day. It is a super long major statement necklace with um, these metal pieces. There's a real pretty flower. And a butterfly and another big flower here some pearls so it's a major statement necklace and then I'm gonna be listing this little gold tone swan here and I believe this is like made for jewelry like a jewelry holder to hold your rings on on the neck right there and then these two really cute little pandas they're just decorative um, this one is actually Gobel or Godel, I can't remember how you say it, but yeah, super cute, and um, he's actually marked right there, and then you guys remember I got this little turtle not too long ago, this is a pin cushion, he's got some little green eyes, this Betty Boop coffee mug here, some like it hot, really cute and then we have a milk glass coffee mug now this one I don't think it's marked on the bottom I don't think it says fire king or anything but yeah super cute and definitely probably I would say from the 60s or 70s what do you guys think and then the next item is this really cute little figurine this little mouse here holding a teddy bear and it's actually a music box, so it's mouse capers, and it plays a little bitty tune. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it going with one hand, though. But yeah, super cute little guy. And then this um, Mustang Avenue sign. So I just thought it'd be fun to share a couple things that I'm going to be uh, listing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you again tomorrow. Hopefully there'll be lots of garage sales tomorrow. So tomorrow's Friday and I'm hoping to find a lot out there. We'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody.